streaming services that we forget exist until you turn it on, right? Like, oh, I need to watch something. Mm-hmm. I don't go to Amazon Prime right away. It's not my go-to streaming service, but they have great stuff. Um, you know, we've talked about The Boys. We've talked about you know, Invincible. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else on Amazon. There are lots of things on Amazon that are good. Um, and one of the things that has just launched, uh, not this week, but two weeks ago, we're, we're, we're behind a little bit, but that's fine. It's eight episodes of uh, Fallout, the series, based on... Mm-hmm the video game series of the same name made by Bethesda. And I would say it's not even based. It actually exists in parallel in the same universe as the video games, Mike, which I think is awesome. Chris, I, I I feel like this is a great time for me to tell you, I feel like I've learned so much about fallout in the last two weeks, like the world in general, because you've played some of these games. You understand the world that we're dealing with. You just watched the first episode before we started recording. Mm -hmm. I've watched them all already. So I, I, I feel like I've been thrown into like a brand new world. And at first, after I watched all eight episodes, no spoilers, obviously, we're not going to spoil anything for anybody out there. Um, I was like, okay, this is interesting. They're working with a lot of uh, stuff here. But then that's when the algorithm started hitting me. That's when the show started popping off and hitting the general public. And even though I've never engaged with anything Fallout before, I'm getting Fallout Reels. I'm getting Fallout TikToks in my it, For You page. And yeah. I'm seeing people doing deep dives on other vault numbers yep. and what experiments and unique situations have run with those vaults. And I was like, oh, this is where the world really takes off. This is where you get to use this like kind of device to tell all of these different stories. So now I'm understanding how there's all of these different games that takes place at different parts of the yep. the world. And there's different stories that you tell in each of them. Um, I don't know exactly how many games deal with how many different vaults, but it's cool to see that there's a mythology there. So I almost appreciate that the show was made because it's introduced me to this franchise that I haven't really touched or played at all. But I do kind of feel a little wanting in a way of like, now I want to play some Fallout, but I don't really know what to do. Because before this show came out, the only thing I knew about Fallout was there was a game called New Vegas, which mm-hmm. I assume must be one of the more popular installments in the series because that's the one I immediately thought about. So there's some sort of name recognition well, there. Yeah, it's just got a better and, and name than some... a sequel name. Like it's like like yeah, you know, yeah. And then there's like I think a newer one called Seventy Six that yep. nobody liked. Uh, or at least when it launched, it, nobody it, liked it. So I don't yeah. really know what to do with this kind of like newfound interest of Fallout. So let me let me go ahead and tell you. I, I've played uh, enough Fallout for you, Mike. Don't do do not stress. I will tell you where you want to start. So my journey started in Fallout Three, uh, which is essentially you. Have you played Skyrim or El- any Elder Scrolls game, Mike, of that that nature? Uh, I played Skyrim for like five minutes when it came with like a bundle that I bought, but that's about it. (laughs) So, so it's a Bethesda formula, right? You know, obviously there's, there's Mm -hmm. there's the Elder Scrolls games, there's the Fallout games, and obviously the new one. Um, I forget the name. It's the one in space. Uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head here. Um, but so you, you you essentially, I was telling my wife this because she was asking me when we were watching episode one in those games, you are a vault dweller being let out of the vault for the first time. So the opening of the games are usually in your vault and then you go out into the world and then you have to deal with everything out there. And that's when you uncover again, as you see the, the different factions, right? The mutants, the enclave, uh, different, different things out in the world, other, other vaults, other vault dwellers. But like the, what's beautiful about the fallout games, um, fallout three was then followed by fallout new Vegas, which is essentially like halo, Three was followed by Halo Reach, if you will, right? Like, mm-hmm. you, know, I've, you, know, you know those games, like the, the sequel ones, but like, Fall isn't about the end of the world. The end of the world's already happened. You're not saving the world at the end of the day. Like, you're just saving where you are in the country or world at that time. So Fallout 3, I think, is set in Massachusetts area, up in the up in the bay. Um, and then Fallout New Vegas, obviously in Vegas. Fallout 4, I forget where it is. But, you know, you, you are very much you come out of your vault and you just have that region to deal with. You're not saving the entire world. The world is already gone and you're just trying to, to get by in those areas, which is really, really fun. Um, Fallout 76 was a game that yes, it did launch to um, not good reception, but it is one of the few games that has come back and bounced back. If you will, like a game that launched like, Oh, we don't like it. But now everyone's like, okay, they, they have fixed 76 to make it, but it's a different type of game. Fallout three and four new Vegas are, 
first person shooter kind of games with like RPG elements for your special stats, if you will. Wink, wink for those who've watched the show. Um, and then Fallout 76 is more like a survival crafting game with, with multiplayer. So like that's where people are like, oh, it's a different type of game. It's a different type of format. Mm-hmm. So if you're not in the, you know, crafting and survival type of multiplayer, Mike, three, New Vegas and four are up your alley. 76 is a little bit different uh, gameplay, but it doesn't mean like, you know, there's not good quality stuff there. But um, Fallout is, the games are really, really fun. Uh, I'm one episode in and, and I'm on board. I'm, 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 I'm absolutely on board. Uh, this is a... I think we've talked about this before, but one of the actors, uh, Walton Goggins, right? He is the actor who can make anything great. Anything he's in is great. Uh, even Ant-Man 2, Mike, Ant-Man and the Wasp, he's in it. He elevates his performance in that, right? Like, he he, he knows what he's there for. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm not, I, I, I'm, we're going to finish this season. We have just been, I've, as people listened last week, I've traveled this week. Uh, obviously, I had to pause my entire world to watch Rebel Moon Part 2. Uh, but but uh, Fallout on Amazon, I'm, I'm excited to finish the season. And with that, for those who are maybe on the fence, uh, it is confirmed for a season two. So that's got to be good news all around, Mike, for everybody. Yeah, there's a, um, there's a moment in the second episode. It's a set piece of kind of like old west kind of gunslinger motif that happens in that second episode when i was watching it i I leaned over to my wife and i go like this show is expensive (laughs) uh that's what always is getting me to watch these new amazon prime originals is just when i'm like oh wow this cost a lot of money so i that i feel like even if it's a show that i wouldn't normally watch like i like the um, Lord of the Rings one that came out, Rings of Power, not like a yeah. super huge Lord of the Rings nerd, but it was like, I want to see that money put the screen. Uh, Fallout's definitely yeah. doing something pretty okay. similar. Yeah. A lot of awesome sets. You know, there's only so much things left over from the 1950s in like these um, set warehouses, you know, in Hollywood or Atlanta. So <laughs> you either have to like make brand new props, you know, or you have to like 3D model the stuff and put it in a volume well, or whatever. But I, I would say some of the also has that futuristic like en- enhancement like in when you see felt like the fifties for that was on like our straight fifties but like the TVs had like that weird like they're they're too thin for nineteen fifty televisions right they would have had to bit way deeper kind of deal and some of the um you know obviously in the in the first of this not you've seen in the trailers and it's all like everyone has like their own personal robot in the fifties as well like that takes care of their house so. It's definitely interesting to see like how much of the fifties plus like, I, to me it's Tomorrowland from Disney World, right? How much of that do they really implement in the games and like carry over yeah, two hundred years in the, the future if, when you emerge from the vaults? Yeah, it's like what if the retro future that they predicted actually happened and then it got nuked is yeah. the kind of aesthetic setup that I like. Uh, I mean, we won't talk too much about the story because you're only one episode in. When yeah. you end up finishing it, we'll come back around to it. Yeah. But I did see some kind of hot takes after the show came out that said, oh, this could have been better maybe if it was released um, once a week or twice a week or sometimes Amazon's been known to drop three episodes a week. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they didn't go with that um, strategy, but... Chris, you're more than welcome to do that. We can kind of tune yeah. back in here in a couple I, of weeks. But yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, I'd be I, curious what you think about the story and the and the world and how it grows. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm very in, intrigued. It's got some very mysteries. The mystery of the ghoul early on, right, um, is, is got me intrigued. Uh, obviously, because you know mutants in the wasteland, like the people in the vault think no one thinks alive on the on the top land except you know. Um, mutated people are just you know savages, and and while that is some true, like there are parts of again the world that did not get nuked that are safe, right? And you get to see kind of that with the the enclave and the the big powered suits, right? Like when you think of fall, everyone thinks of the powered suits, the big mech suits, and some of that stuff looked felt really good. There's an interrogation scene in, in the first episode where there's one like right behind uh, w- uh you know, one of the main characters, and you can just feel the weight the 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 terrifyingness of that big mech suit and whoever's inside of it uh in there which is which was really fun again it looks great it's uh you know it's got um uh the her dad uh Kyle McLaughlin right he was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. he's known for Twin Peaks he's a great actor uh absolutely love it that he's in there I there's a lot of familiar faces as well I don't know if you got that vibe on on or at least in episode one um there's a guy who tells Spider-Man to do a backflip 
Um, and he's like, I think in Shang Chi, the guy who's filming on the bus, he's like doing his oh, personal. Oh yeah, Zach, work. Zach Cherry. He's he, also in uh, the first season of Severance. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully he returns for the second season. Yeah, so he's he's one of like the vault, I guess, leaders. And then next to him uh, is Leslie Uggams, who plays Blind Al in Deadpool. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that's why so, she looked familiar. Yeah, I was like, okay, I get like a lot of these people are, are familiar. Um, it, it's been fun, but like I, I'm excited to watch more. I'm just I, I feel horrible is taking me so long, but like even people I know who like don't like Fallout or are not familiar with Fallout have been getting into Fallout, playing the games, watching the show, watching the show again. Even I'm like, this is great. This is one of those things, the one of these I guess properties that you know is risky to put out here, right? Like when you're adapting an established property and people are like, oh, am I going to like it? Am I going to hate it? And it's come out on top. I think that's pretty good. Like that's really good. And I would say, honestly, uh, as you mentioned, the weekly stuff, uh, Rings of Power was weekly, if I remember correctly, when Amazon did it because there yeah, was discussion was. every week. So uh, I, I'm sad they're not doing it, but maybe for season two, maybe they'll get better. They're like, hey, we, we'll, we'll, we'll space this out a little bit because they just came off of uh, uh, what loading uh, or, or debuting invincible like what you mentioned what what fallout game should i go play right now chris if i wanted to jump into the world F- three uh, or four you mentioned fallout three <laughs> uh fallout new vegas seems to be the popular one i did a little bit of research and it seems like this is one of those franchises that if i wanted to go back to like the original it's kind yeah. of like going back to the original metal gear where you're on like a kind of more yeah. of a retro kind what, of console one and two are are, are not very you know, people like, like them, but they're not like the ones that you're playing now. Like they don't have the, when you go to shoot someone, you stop and then you can aim at different body parts, right. And see different percentages and the damage. And you can like dismember people. I always say three, three was where I started. Three is a good one. Four is also good. Four is a modernization of that. Very similar kind of, kind of ideas. If you want to do a four, I, I played four. I did not finish it. I, I get overwhelmed with those open world games a little bit. I'm like, I just don't know what to do. So I'm like, I'm not going to do anything and put it down. Uh, but that's, that's nothing against that I'm not against Fallout 4. That's just how I, you know, take the game. So um, I would say three or four. New Vegas, I would say do three, the New Vegas, if I would say, to say jump that in. Uh, simply because three is going to set the world that New Vegas is in, right? You're going to understand the background before you jump in New Vegas. Because New Vegas is essentially like what they would call an expansion game these days, where you're like, okay, you finished mm-hmm. three, now you got to go to New Vegas kind of deal. I think that would help you. That I like. I really enjoyed New Vegas as well. Three in New Vegas, I, I put a lot of time into back back in the college days of Xbox 360 era. So, um, yeah, absolutely, I'm having a good time. I'm on the. Uh... I'm on the PlayStation Store right now. Yep. It looks like Fallout 4 is only $5 right now, which is that's incredibly affordable. Yeah. Fallout 76 is 8 bucks. Yeah, they're um, they're, all, they're 4, all on sale right now because of the show, I think. Actually. Yeah. But I'm not yeah, I'm not seeing Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas at least on this first page. I the, just would have assumed that they would have been right on the front. They were I'll have to do a little bit more research here. Yeah, so I don't know yeah, uh, PlayStation. Oh, you have to do PS now to get Fallout Three in New Vegas on PlayStation. This oh, okay, game. that might be that might be worth it. Yeah, if they got a free it. trial, you could test it out. Four Four is not bad. If you if uh, you know Four for five bucks, you said Four was five bucks. Yeah, something like. Oh that. hell yeah, get that. Yeah, just do that. Uh, like I, I, think, <laughs> I think that's that's pretty 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 standard stuff. Um, so absolutely, I, I'm excited. You know, it's got the three main casts. I'm excited to see how they all mix in, in the season as we kind of go forward. And where does season two take us? So uh, absolutely on board for Fallout. Jumping into the news, let's get into some news. We'll do our uh, the long anticipated Rebel Moon part.